What up, it's your buddy Mark. I haven't done a video for a while, but um, I seen this chick, um, Shelby K, just uh, Savannah Dexter. And you all know, I really, really enjoy Savannah Dexter. Her music, her singing, her rap, her, her body, everything about her. I really feel like she's a total package at only 24 years old. And um, the sky's the limit for her. I think she's gonna get better and better. And her her first album is fucking amazing. There's a lot of people on it. I mean, Adam Calhoun's on three songs. Uh, Jelly Roll's on the song. Um, uh, Gator's on a song. Um, Dusty Jones and someone else is on the other song. The shit of Adam Calhoun. There's a lot of people on this album. But um, anyway, we're here to talk about Shelby K, who came out and dissed her. Um, trying to kind of do what Savannah did to Katie, and but it's such a different situation, um, you know, because what Katie did was wrong and it got into so many people's skin. That I'm so happy someone stepped up and did something about it. And um, I, I'll never get sick of that race hell diss track. It's my favorite female diss track of all time, which is saying a lot. I was in hip hop for 20 years, and anyway. But, um, let's see what this girl's got. Shelby K, Crooked Crumbles, Savannah Dexter Diss. And try not to be biased. Um, so let's see what she's got. Um, I don't know. Oof, I like that beat. It's never a competition. Because I'm the only real country bitch in this. Ah, oh, there's no other shoes. <laughs> Yo, hold on, hold on. Isn't that what I'm um, Kate Namal said to Savannah when, when you can skin your own buck and whatever, back a truck up or something like that? Isn't that that's what Savannah said? Ah, that's what Noel said to Dexter. And now yeah, it's funny, she's quoting it. Alright, we'll go back a little bit. Yeah. It, it, the song is catchy and it's good and I cannot lie. And I almost wish I was listening to headphones because um you know, Savannah she's beautiful. And I think Savannah's better to, a better singer, a better rapper. But Shelby's not far behind, but then you add Savannah's like looks but I bet you if I was bumping this in the headphones, I'd probably be saying they're equal. But right now, it's like, it's hard for me. I mean, honest, you know what I mean? Look shouldn't matter. Like, in all my years of um, breaking down rap battles, looks never mattered to me when it came to male um, MCs. But females is different. Like, I don't know. In the city living. It's hot. Ooh. This hook. Showing off her singing skills, too. She can rap and sing. And uh, someone, another reaction to that, the Weapon, that Southern Draw. She's a little too, um, country, a little too Southern for me. Like, I know Savannah is Florida, so it's not this much. She's like, this chick, she's like Hillbilly, and, and she's kind of like, ah, uh, she's not bad looking. She's the type of girl that you would hook up with, but not tell anyone. That's a jassel thing to say, but it's just kind of true. <laughs> Yeah. Of course it's hot. <laughs> yeah, I don't think so that next one wants to be you. She, she she's better and um and it's like, it's always unfair to say like someone's doing better because they're better looking, but it just happens sometimes. If I was better looking, I'd probably have 
three times as many YouTube subscribers. I mean, let's just be real with it. And if she was better looking, she'd be probably right on Savannah's level because um, she's really good at singing and rapping. But um, I don't know. <laughs> right now, it's like, you know, you want to go with the whole package. Someone that can rap, sing, and... And plus, I seen Savannah's um, on a live chat, and um, what's it called? Like her mannerisms, and um, when someone say, "We don't even bring our dog," she's like, "Oh, you know, I love a girl who loves dogs. That's a huge thing." And when the manager put onto her, someone's shouting out to you that her thirteen-year-old dog loves your music, and Savannah would like take a, a break to like show that girl props, wish her a happy birthday. She did some really sweet things in that live cast, which even if you like it more. But that has nothing to do with nothing. You had to pay just to replant a tree? You made a plastic, bitch. I made a grain. Look, I did it. <laughs> I can't do it with all the Kindle. Okay, um, sorry. A big part of why I did this because, um, we all know when Savannah came out, uh, first was Raise Hell. I want to say the second song that she dropped was already of Adam Calhoun. And he was on, her album just came out like a week ago. He's on three songs on that album. That's crazy. Her album is insane. Um, there's like, there's so many people on it. Three songs of Adam. One of Dusty Jones, and Adam's in that one too. And then she has one of Jelly Roll. She has one of Gator. Like, yo, that album is nasty. But there's like um, four songs on there that didn't have videos. And even the ones that were on features, no, or no features when she had, um, I Remember Everything. I really like that one too. The only the Cinderella one I didn't really like. It wasn't really my type of music. That was really singing. But, um, yo, like all... That whole album, that's all hits. Like, there was four songs that videos were made for out of, like, what, 12, 15 song album? That's crazy. And, um, I'm gonna react to some of the ones that, um, haven't reacted to. Because I, I really enjoy listening to her. Um, I like more of the videos, but still, um, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cover that shit. Because I think she's so talented. She's only 24. She's right at the right age where she's. Um, right about mature enough, like, you know, early at 25, you get a lot better than you were at 23, 24, you still think you know everything, you know nothing. <laughs> and I didn't talk about everybody, me too. But, um, this is actually what I want to get into. How much time do I got? Alright, eight minutes, so. Uh, I've seen on Dylan Talks that Adam, um, uh, I'm sorry, Ryan, Upchurch, he went to uh, see Shelby K. He heard that she was dropping music. And he's thinking about promoting her. But if she's attacking Savannah, and Adam's been doing his best to promote, um, I was talking about Savannah Dexter, I feel like they're on a collision course and this can't end good. And I don't want to say someone's scared to say it, but it's like no, one's wants, no one wants to say it. And it's like you can kind of see it coming. Like, I don't see these chicks making up and, you know, Adam and Church, uh, Ryan and Church, <laughs> I'm a little blaze. You know what I mean? Ryan and Adam go way back and I would hate to see any of them come between that friendship. And, you know, um, and hopefully they can all get, maybe get peaceful and make music. And so that just depends if Savannah and Shelby K can put the shit behind them. Cause right now it's got me worried. Like you know, if Adam's got if Adam's back in Savannah, the church is back in Shelby, and they start um, trading diss tracks, how is that gonna affect Adam and Ryan? I don't know. It's just a thought, and you know, like sometimes you can see this stuff coming from a while from a while away. You don't do anything about it. Cause I've been wondering forever why why have um, Savannah and Adam not made a song together yet? Maybe. I, I think maybe he, um, the church didn't say nothing about it, but he might not like Savannah for coming out and doing what she did, making a diss track on Katie. And 
Um, let's be honest. He said he loved her. They broken up maybe six months. You know, you got lingering feelings, especially love someone you live with. I don't know. I don't know. It's just I just really hope that everything works out fine. They keep it just business, because you know, I don't know. I just I got I'm a little nervous about it, but hopefully I'm wrong. Hopefully I'm very wrong. We'll see. Time will tell. Anyway, I hope you um like that song. It, it, yo, she was good. She could sing. She could rap. She's not half as talented as Samantha Dexter. And Samantha Dexter is just beautiful. And she has great mannerisms and shows a lot of the heart. I love it. She has a little dog that she cuddles with. Like, you know what I mean? Like, shit like that. It, like, really shows, like, how someone is. Like, at least through my eyes, you know. And the other girl is a little too country for me. <laughs> she was more hillbilly. But, yo, yo, she could sing. The chorus was hot. That beat was hot. It was good. I'm not going to lie. As much as I'm a big Savannah Dexter fan, never heard of Shelby K to, like, two days ago. But, yo, her track was good. And I bet you if I listen to headphones, I know what she looked like. So not comparing her to this beautiful girl like Savannah. Savannah's beautiful. I'd probably like it a lot more. But, um, you know, I got to tell the truth. <laughs> All right, but, um... Hopefully, hopefully I'm wrong about all this stuff and nothing happens, no drama. I hope not, because um, the agenda is really growing, and uh, I'm trying. I'm, I'm from Boston. I'm trying to get more people into it, and slowly but surely, I'm I'm helping. <laughs> not really helping them sell records, but I'm getting people to know Upchurch, Amical, who Miss Van Dexter are, all of them, you know, because they don't they don't know. And they they should. All right, peace.